This is the hidden crisis threatening the future of nuclear fusion. While fusion is often hailed as the ultimate solution for clean energy, there's a massive problem that could derail all the progress made. This issue, if left unchecked, could render all the research and billions invested in fusion futile. It's a challenge that many are reluctant to talk about, but as someone who wants fusion to succeed, we must confront it head on. In this video, we'll dive into this overlooked fuel problem and explore the urgent efforts to fix it before it's too late. Let's dive in. What is nuclear fusion? Nuclear fusion is the process that powers the stars, including our sun. It involves merging atomic nuclei to release vast amounts of energy, a concept that, if harnessed on Earth, could provide virtually limitless clean power. The fuel for this reaction is typically hydrogen, specifically two isotopes, deuterium and tritium. When these two forms of hydrogen collide at incredibly high temperatures, millions of degrees Celsius, they form helium and release energy. While deuterium is abundant and easy to source from seawater, tritium, the other key fuel, is much more elusive. It's not naturally abundant and must be produced artificially. This fundamental difference between deuterium and tritium is at the heart of the looming fuel problem that threatens fusion energy's potential. The pursuit of nuclear fusion for energy production hinges on one crucial question. How do we secure a continuous and sustainable supply of tritium to fuel these reactions? Without it, the dream of fusion-powered energy might remain out of reach, no matter how much we advance the technology. Understanding this problem is the first step to exploring potential solutions that could enable fusion reactors to become a reality. The Tritium Shortage Crisis Tritium is a vital ingredient for nuclear fusion, but it's in very short supply. Unlike deuterium, which can be easily extracted from seawater, tritium does not occur naturally in significant amounts. In fact, the global stockpile of tritium is alarmingly small. The world's supply primarily comes from nuclear fission reactors, particularly the Kandu reactors in Canada, which produce tritium as a byproduct. These reactors collectively generate about 500 grams of tritium annually, and the total global stockpile stands at only about 25 kilograms. This stockpile may seem sufficient for current research reactors, but it's far from enough for the future needs of large-scale fusion reactors. The ITR project, one of the most ambitious fusion projects ever conceived, is expected to use about 12 kilograms of tritium, leaving little for subsequent reactors. Worse, Tritium decays quickly, with a half-life of just 12.3 years. This means that even as the stockpile depletes, it's also naturally diminishing over time. The scarcity of tritium and the impending decommissioning of many fission reactors make the situation even more precarious. The clock is ticking, and without a sustainable supply of tritium, the dream of clean, abundant fusion energy may be impossible to realize. The concept of tritium breeding. To address the looming tritium shortage, scientists have proposed a solution known as tritium breeding. This involves creating tritium within the fusion reactor itself, using the spare neutrons produced during the fusion process. In an ideal scenario, when deuterium and tritium nuclei combine in a fusion reaction, they release energy along with a neutron. This neutron, which is highly energetic, passes through the first wall of the reactor, a protective barrier designed to shield the breeding blanket from the extreme heat of the plasma. The neutron then reacts with materials in the blanket, such as lithium, to produce more tritium. The most promising material for tritium production is lithium-6, which, when it interacts with the neutron, results in a reaction that generates tritium. Theoretically, this process could generate more tritium than the amount used in the fusion reaction. 
creating a self-sustaining supply. However, achieving this in practice is far more challenging. Many neutrons do not make it into the breeding blanket. Some are lost or deflected. Others may interact with the first wall or other components, which diminishes the overall efficiency of tritium production. Despite these challenges, experts estimate that, with the right materials and design, a fusion reactor could produce around 1.1 to 1.2 times the amount of tritium it consumes, just enough to maintain the fusion process. ITER will be the first reactor to attempt this process at scale, though its limited tritium breeding blanket will only cover a small fraction of its total surface. The Lithium Problem Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Lithium is a crucial element in the tritium breeding process, which is essential for sustaining fusion reactions. Specifically, lithium-6 reacts with neutrons produced during fusion to generate tritium. However, the supply of lithium-6 poses a significant challenge. Naturally, lithium is abundant, but it consists mostly of lithium-7, with lithium-6 making up only around 7% of the total. This imbalance means that lithium-6 must be enriched to a high concentration, typically 90% for it to be effective in tritium breeding. The problem becomes more complex when we consider the current methods of lithium-6 enrichment. Historically, the U.S. used the COLEX process at Oak Ridge National Laboratory, which enriched lithium-6 for fusion research. However, this process was shut down in 1963 due to environmental and safety issues. Since then, no large-scale facilities have been in operation to produce enriched lithium-6 at the necessary scale. As a result, the demand for lithium-6, particularly in fusion energy, is growing rapidly. Yet, the production capacity remains limited. The shortage of enriched lithium is further compounded by the increasing demand for lithium in industries like electric vehicles and batteries, putting additional strain on global supplies. As fusion energy progresses, the need for lithium-6 will only grow, and without efficient, scalable enrichment methods, securing enough lithium-6 for fusion reactors could become a bottleneck for the technology. While researchers are exploring new methods, such as the ICOMAX process, these innovations are still in the experimental phase, making the future of lithium supply uncertain for fusion energy. Solutions and Research While the tritium and lithium-6 shortages pose significant challenges, scientists and engineers are actively working on solutions. Much of the research is focused on improving the efficiency of tritium breeding and finding sustainable methods for lithium-6 enrichment. One area of progress is the development of advanced tritium breeding blankets. Researchers are experimenting with new materials, including ceramics and composites, which could better capture and retain neutrons, thus increasing the amount of tritium produced in fusion reactions. These materials are designed to withstand the extreme heat and radiation inside the reactor, improving the overall efficiency of the breeding process. Such advancements could make tritium breeding much more effective and sustainable. In parallel, new methods for enriching lithium-6 are being explored. The ICOMAX process, still under development, promises a safer and more sustainable way to enrich lithium-6. This technology, if successful, could help address the current scarcity of lithium-6. Other techniques for lithium extraction and enrichment are also being investigated with a focus on minimizing environmental impact and reducing production costs. Smaller fusion reactors that require less tritium are also being considered as a potential solution. These reactors could act as test platforms for tritium breeding and lithium-6 enrichment technologies, accelerating their development. Additionally, collaboration on a global scale is becoming essential, as pooling resources and knowledge could expedite solutions to these challenges. Through continuous innovation and cooperation, the hope is that fusion energy can become a viable and sustainable source of power 
in the near future. Starting fusion without tritium. One solution to the tritium shortage is to start fusion reactors using only deuterium, a hydrogen isotope abundant in seawater. Although fusion between two deuterium atoms is harder to achieve, it can serve as a starting point. When deuterium nuclei collide, they release a neutron, which can be used in the breeding blanket to produce tritium. This method could generate enough tritium to sustain the reactor, but it requires higher energy input to maintain the reaction. While not ideal, this approach could be used initially to kickstart the fusion process. As the reactor generates small amounts of tritium, it could gradually increase production through the breeding blanket. Although a temporary solution, starting with deuterium fusion could pave the way for more efficient tritium breeding technologies, enabling reactors to operate with limited tritium and laying the groundwork for future fusion advancements. The Future of Fusion Energy The future of fusion energy holds incredible promise. But overcoming fuel shortages and technological barriers will require innovation and collaboration. Scientists are working on ways to solve the tritium and lithium-6 challenges, from developing more efficient tritium breeding blankets to pioneering new lithium enrichment processes. While the road ahead is not without obstacles, the progress made so far offers hope. As new technologies are tested and refined, Fusion could become a sustainable and virtually limitless energy source. The key lies in overcoming these hurdles, ensuring that the dream of clean, abundant fusion energy becomes a reality.